I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be doing uh, Easter egg frame and I'm going to show you some other little bonus things as well. Now I got these little frames in the dollar section at Michael's and at the end of the video I will give you the little number that is on the back because I know a lot of you have been having trouble finding them and Michael says if you can provide them with the number they can order them in so we want to make sure that we can do that for you so we got the little frames and then I went and I was walking by the food section and I saw the jello frames and it used to be if you bought so many jellos you got the jello mold this jello frames excuse me jello mold you got the jello molds free and they've changed that they actually put it in a little box now and put a little jello in it and it was I believe 250 and so they should have those at uh, any of your different food stores so check that out and we're gonna have a lot of fun with our little mold here so what I'm gonna do the first thing I'm gonna do is I've took all my jewelry off I'm gonna spray a little bit of vegetable oil into the egg mold and we're gonna use quick wood and this does take quite a bit and if you've never seen the quick wood this is what it looks like it is a wood putty epoxy there are two pieces and there's your two pieces the most important thing you need to do is remember to remove that plastic thing off and then we're going to knead it and kneading activates it now this particular quick wood has 20 minutes workable time it's rock hard in an hour that's why you do not work with your jewelry on that means rock, rock hard even in your jewelry but you can see it still kind of got two different colors so we want to keep on working with that mold excuse me clay I'm not tired <laughs> and we're gonna work it and work it and we're gonna see if this is gonna be enough if this takes a little bit more now this has got some ridges in it and it's real important to press down into those ridges and we're gonna start at the middle of the mold and we're going to work our way out or press our way out. So I'm going to press and I want to make sure that we got all those ridges. And you don't want to add any. If you have to add clay, add it in the middle. Don't add it to the sides so that you don't get a crease line. So we're going to add this. And we do want to bring it all the way up to the top we do not want it past the top we want it nice and flat up at the top and we want to try and make sure that we kind of have this all even now on this one I'm just going to leave it hollow because I don't think it matters and what I did on the last one is when you're working with a big area like this and you don't want to fill it all the way up you put something in the middle of it and last time I used tin foil I put in the middle of it and then I put another layer of quick wood over the top of it and did it that way so we're gonna let that dry it's 20 minutes before we take it out and I do want to get it to the edges but not over the edges and I want to show you some of the other things I did. This actually is an egg gourd. I did it just like this. I found a little egg gourd. I laid it inside and half was sticking out. And I put the clay in all so it filled the whole thing up. I let it dry and then I flipped it over and did the other side. And then in where it joined I sanded the areas a little bit so I, I actually had one egg. Now the rabbit, my chocolate bunny here, I did the same thing I filled him up and this is actually a little bottle gourd right here and I set him on top now you have to kind of push the clay down and around and kind of even it out and then I added him a little tail to give him my little chocolate bunny this is my personal favorite this is which came first the chicken or the egg so I put the quick wood in here and I brought the head up all the way. I don't think I'd bring the head up all the way next time. I think I'd only bring it up part 
way. And then I stuck the egg gourd in the body part of it so that half of the egg gourd stuck out. And you got the real cute uh, little chicken or egg and then I painted him and then just glued him on a wood base. Now those do take quite a bit of quick wood unlike the one that we're working with right now. It's not nearly as much. So we're going to allow this guy 20 minutes of time and then when he's dry we're going to come back and we're going to start painting him. Alright, we've let our little quick wood egg dry and sometimes it takes longer to dry underneath. At least allow it 20 minutes and then check it because it is not in the air and you know it can still be wet underneath. So we're going to pop it out. Now remember when you did this to make sure you put some vegetable spray in it. You want it pretty good. And sometimes this can take a little bit of work, okay, to get that out of there. So we're going to get it out. Now, this guy has a little bit of rough edges, so anything you can do to wood, you can do to quick wood. That's what it is. You can sand, you can drill it, you can put holes in it, all kinds of stuff. We did really good at filling in all of this these um, with our clay or our quick wood, so that's nice. So all we're going to do is put it on our little frame and we're going to paint it first. Now I removed the other one but I don't even think this this gets down into where the plastic is on that frame so I think I'm just going to leave it. So I'm just going to come over and I'm just going to paint this real quick. And this is an uh, Aileen's acrylic paint, and it is nice and thick, and it covers really, really well. I like that. I'm going to rush this a little bit, or otherwise we'd normally just let this dry, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of it for you so you can kind of see. I'm going to use my bigger round brushes again. I think this is a three or any of those. I'm going to use some bright Eastery colors. I think on the other one I did one for each color and I didn't quite like that as well. I want it to look more like a pattern. Now remember this is wet so it's not going on as well as if we let it dry. kind of just give you the idea here. So I'm going to get those on. And don't try to overthink it. And then we're going to come in and I'm going to do my green. And the green is kind of an up and down. You want it to look, ah, I went into my yellow. <laughs> okay, well we've got it kind of variated here. which color I'm sticking it in. And then at the end here I want to take my yellow and do yellow dots. So all I'm going to do is dip it into the paint and you could also do this with your wax design tools if you wanted to to bring the yellow into it. Take it out, varnish it. Once it's dried completely all the way what we're going to do is we're going to take our E6000 and we're going to try to figure out kind of where this is hitting. And so I'm going to put glue all the way in on these beaded areas and just glue it in just like that. And then when you're all done, you have the cute little egg frame. I would do the smallest part of the egg up near the top so that it, it looks more like the fat part is at the bottom, which is what you kind of want to do. And again, wait till it's all dry and nice and neat, but then it's a lot of fun. And you've made all of these different egg 
jello molds, not just eggs, but all these different things just out of the one little jello mold. And again, I will put the number at the end of the video so that you can read it. So if you can't find the frame at Michael's, you can ask them if they can get that in for you. And they, the, so you guys will be able to start doing this. And I think the mold is pretty common and just go to your grocery store and look for that. So thank you for joining me today. Please join us on Facebook right now where we have a Easter contest going on. We're giving an entry away for each gourd project that you've done. If you put wax on it, it counts as another entry. If you put quick wood on it, it counts as another entry. So we've got a fantastic prize, so come over and play with us. Thank you for joining me today. God bless.